Jadi jadi. Spencer's family claim that the Jamaican immigrant was lynched after he is shot dead on a hunting trip. Spencer is a 29-year-old Jamaican immigrant. He was shot dead earlier this month after allegedly going on a hunting trip with five Caucasian individuals. His body was found by the police on December 12 of 2021. In a cabin near Carl's Road, the victim reportedly suffered nine gunshot wounds to his chest, his head, and the rest of his body. Authorities also discovered multiple firearms at the scene. A 25-year-old man was taken into custody in relation to the incident, but no charges have been filed so far. Other men who accompanied Peter on the trip reported that he acted in self-defense. Meanwhile, the victim's family is claiming that the incident was an example of modern-day lynching. Was Peter Spence lowered into this location under the pretense of going hunting and then lynched and murdered? On December 11th of 2021, Peter Spencer reportedly planned to go on a hunting trip with a Caucasian man whom he had met from his previous workplace. The man contacted Peter through Snapchat and also invited other friends, four men and one woman, to join the trip. All Caucasian except for Peter. Peter's pregnant fiance Carmela King dropped him off to a cabin in Vernango County, Pennsylvania in the afternoon. They had made a deal before that Peter was going to go hunting, as she would pick him up later, not spend the night, but as soon as she dropped him off, she received a message saying, he would spend the night on December 12 of 2021. Pennsylvania police received a dispatch call from the cabin around 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Authorities arrived at the venue and Peter was found dead at the scene with nine gunshot wounds. The shocking incident left Peter's family completely devastated on his GoFundMe page. His sister, Tahila Spencer, deemed the ordeal as a hate crime and she said that her brother was lynched. Here's what I know, she said. This is a hate crime. Peter was murdered in Rockland Township, Pennsylvania, in a backwater rural town where he was completely vulnerable and cut off from everything and everyone. He was slaughtered and killed in what I considered an act of modern day lynching. The Black Political Empowerment Project, or the BPEP, also demanded better investigation into the tragic shooting. BPEP CEO Tim Stevens further elaborated on the incident while he was speaking on the news station and he said, I found this story beyond tragic. We decided that we need to send a letter to some of the key members that are in Pennsylvania. We are talking six bullets into the chest, two into the buttocks, and one we have a different opinion, either through the mouth or from the back of the neck, out of the mouth. Although the man was taken into custody, no official charges have been filed against any suspect. Peter Spencer's family also claimed that no details about incident or investigation have been provided to them by the Franklin State Troopers so far. Peter's sister described him as a friendly and outgoing person and also claimed that her brother was murdered in cold blood. The situation caused significant outrage on social media and several people came together seeking justice for Peter's fatal shooting. One person said, a black man has been lynched this year, say his name, Peter Spencer. Another person says, do not ignore this. A black man has been lynched this year. Say his name, Peter Spencer. <laughs>